What's up, how you doing? Here we are again. Tonight we're having pork chops and pork tenderloin. Also, we're having a beer one. Uh, I've never had this one before, first time. I don't know if you can see that. It's from Germany, Munich. Imported from Germany, premium beer. Weiss beer. Francis Hamner. Francis Hamner, I think. I don't speak German that well. But we're going to give it a shot. I don't know. We'll try it. Never had it. Smells good, very appetizing. It smells like it would go good with the pork and steak. Nice color. Always drink in moderation, never drink and drive. Drink responsibly, otherwise you won't be able to find your bedroom at night. And you may hurt yourself. Hmm, very good. That's a good beer, good quality. You can tell there's a lot of experience in this beer. I highly recommend it. Yeah, that's a pretty good beer. So, I'm a big fan of doo-wop. Big fan of that kind of music. I'd like to be sitting out summertime, any time of the year actually, but summertime, you have a little bit of a breeze going by and way over in the not too far distance <clears throat> you're hearing doo-wop music I wish they still made that kind of music but you know you can't keep making the same thing it gets, uh, gets old so you have to come up with new styles so uh, the drifters the Cadillacs or as they say in my house Condilac they never said Cadillac, they always said Condilac. The Heartbreaks, Little Anthony and the Imperials, Johnny and Joe, the Flamingos, uh, the Fleetwoods, the Monotones, and many others. Look at that. So there's a ton of music on here. I will be listening to this later on. We've got Earth Angel. What if they have that song that I like? Remember, 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 remember then. I don't see it, but I have it on another album. <clears throat> yeah. This is the kind of stuff, you know, um, it, it gives you a feeling of goodwill feeling of goodwill. So that's it. Gonna check it out after. This is when um, this is when people could really sing. There was no auto-tuning. You had to you had to have you had to have the ability to sing well. Otherwise, um, they uh, they wouldn't sign you. The Shirelles. I love the Shirelles. Yep, we're going to check that out after. Basic ingredients, salt, pepper, and I'm going to go inside and grab the uh, pecan rub in a minute. So I turn the grill on and uh, look at this. It's a good cut, really good cut, extra fresh. You know, I never understood why they don't have uh, pork milk. You can't get milk out of pork, pig. Never had that, pork milk. But I'll tell you this, I, I, don't, uh, I don't drink milk that often or ever. I mean, I'll drink it in my coffee, and that's about it. I'm not a fan of uh, milk. I'm not a calf, you know. That that's what you give to a calf. You don't you don't drink milk from a cow. You drink it, you know, when you're a baby from another human. 
preferably uh, your mother. I know I've seen I've seen uh, videos and stuff where people recommend drinking milk from another human throughout your life, but you can't do that. Unnecessary. Unnecessary. And I think it's a scam. You don't need that after a certain... You need it as a baby, but not when you get older. All right, I got the pecan rub. John Henry, good stuff. Highly recommend John Henry. Buy some. And then we flip them over to get the other side. Very tender, very tender. But I have tenderloin too. I don't know, maybe I'll put some on the side, give it some color. I like cowboy food, you know, beef stew, steak, beans uh, with all types of uh, secret herbs in there. Big fan of lentils. You could survive on lentils. You have lentils, uh, maybe like 300 pounds in a big sack. You could survive the entire year, I think. I mean, for one person. If you have like a pound of lentils a day, I think that's... So maybe like 400 pounds. I don't eat them that often, once in a while. But beef stew, big fan of beef stew. Get some uh, beef chuck, cut it up, squares. You know, add some vegetables in there and uh, let it cook for a couple hours. Awesome flavor. All right, so I'm gonna put them on there in a minute. All right, so the pork chops are on the fire and uh, now we're gonna prep the tenderloin. I didn't get much, I got a little bit. 1.2 pounds worth. I should have got more, but I have a ton of uh, pork chops, so. This is just like an appetizer. Right there, pork tenderloin. Um, I need a knife. Yeah, I'll be back. All right, so we got the knife out. I don't know, we're gonna cut this in, um, I don't know, pieces. knife. Good way to cut a finger off. <clears throat> so, my father owned years ago a Lincoln town car, but he never called it a Lincoln. He always said Lincoln. Lincoln. I don't know where he got Lincoln from, but it's not Abraham Lincoln. Maybe it's Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln sounds more accurate but my father said Lincoln and my mother would say Lincoln too she's like uh, get get in the Lincoln 
and of course Cadillac was Condilac. I know they couldn't say Cadillac, Cadillac. They always said Condilac. Yeah, I was a big fan of uh, the Cadillacs in the old days. Beautiful car, especially the Fleetwood, Brom. You know, I liked even the last model that uh, came out. So like I was uh, like I was saying before, big fan of Cadillacs, the older ones. The new ones now are tiny. Yes, they have a lot of luxury, but um, they're very small. You know, I miss I miss the big cars. And uh, yeah, the Escalade. The Escalade's an SUV. It's not a sedan. In the old days, though, Cadillacs ruled. If you had a Cadillac, you know, you had it made. Smooth ride. They did feel like you were on a boat, very smooth. You'd go over railroad tracks and it was like going over a wave, a little baby wave. But big fan of the Cadillacs, Fleetwood, Brom. I love the steering wheel, like a T-shaped Pontiac too. Pontiac had a nice steering wheel. There was a time in my life where I was fascinated with steering wheels. I knew them all, every car. And a lot of people, they looked at the car and they could tell you the year. I could do that, but I was also an expert in the steering wheel in the year it came out. But Pontiac and Cadillac, I love the steering wheel. You know, the um, thing is that after the first gas shortage that happened, they started shrinking them down. And now they look like toy cars. But in the old days, if you had a Cadillac, you could put like five bodies in the trunk. At least, at least five can't do that now, now you gotta do multiple trips, so, nice night, I'm gonna put these in, and uh, I'll be back in a minute, alright, so, uh, pork tenderloin, look at that, delicious, delicious, don't overcook your food, it dries it out, and, uh, you know, especially uh, if your teeth are not sharp, you'll have a hard time with this. But this is tender, so. Alright, so I put the tenderloins in, a few minutes each side, and I'm taking them out. I always remember Casey Kasem, he would say, keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars. I miss Casey Kasem, American Top 40. What a great show. That was, uh, it was almost like the highlight of the weekend. It was like the kind of like the slow Sunday, you know. Saturday was like very excited, you know. Saturday is here. And then Sunday is like okay, school tomorrow again. And it was, you know, not as exciting as Saturday. But I would listen to American Top 40 back in those days. Um 98.5 carried it and uh love that show. Casey Kasem, American Top 40, and based on Billboard magazine, which I buy now, but it's not the same. I used to like that four-hour show, eight to noon, every Sunday, and always uh, curious of what the number one song of the week was back then. Another thing I miss, Solid Gold. Remember that show, Solid Gold? They would take the top 10 songs and uh, they would, they'd have a couple of people singing live, sometimes one, one uh, group. And then the other songs were like dancers would come out. The Solid Gold Dancers, big fan of those dancers. What was her name, Darcel, Darcella, Darcel. Yeah, she was a very good dancer. They don't have stuff like that anymore. And then Fame. Remember Fame, the movie? You go to this place and they teach you how to be a dancer and all that. Fame. And then Flashdance came out. Both Fame and Flashdance had really good theme songs. Same singer. 
But, uh, you know, Flashdance was a big hit, and so was in Fame. I'm gonna live forever, I'm gonna learn how to fly. Fame, good tune. And then it became a TV show. Anyway, that's it. Have a good night.